B.S. Abdul Rahman University, earlier known as B.S. Abdul Rahman Crescent Engineering College. Uh, hello, everybody. Have a good day. I am Murshita Sajahan uh, from E&D Department of B.S. Abdul Rahman Crescent University. Uh, today, I am going to take class about uh, temperature measurement. This is the overall uh, overview of the class. Today's class contains the following. It is the need of temperature measurements, why we are going to that temperature measurement and what are the sensors commonly used for the temperature measurement. So, in that sensor, there are so many sensors, thermocouple resistive temperature sensors. Then, we are going to study the comparison study. After that, we will have the summary and question and answer sessions. Okay. <coughs> First, what is the need of temperature measurement? So, why the temperature should be measured and monitored? So, the temperature is one of the very critical and important process parameters to be measured and or to be monitored in various industries, process industries, manufacturing industries, etc. So, this uh, temperature uh, range from the simple, the, it may be vary from simple monitoring of the water temperature of an engine and it is a complex temperature measurement of a laser welding operations like that, etc. So, more difficult measurements uh, such as the uh, temperature of the smoke gas from the uh, power generating station, blast furnace, exhaust gas or in the rack rocket. So, it is also a kind of uh, where the temperature measurements needs to be. So, the temperature measurements, how can we measure the temperature? So, how uh, we have to use something to measure the temperature? For example, in the normal day to day life, if I feel something hot, so I, if I touch something on some hot surface, I can feel the temperature. So, because my skin is act as a sensor. So, the same way we have to measure the temperature by means of an array of sensors. So, all of the sensors infer temperature by sensing some change in the physical characteristics. So, that is the common and base of the base principle of the temperature measurement. So, what are the commonly used temperature sensors available means? So, normally they will go with industrial people, they will go with uh, thermocouples, RTDs and pyrometers. In the first two, we will have a no contact type of temperature measurement. And the last one pyrometer is a non-contact type of temperature measurement. So, this is the thermocouple. So, the figure shows the thermocouple. This is the physical thermocouple, right? So, it is contained in sensor portion, this is the sensor portion, okay. It's actual thermocouple. <coughs> the thermocouple, how it works? So, it converts the thermal potential difference into electrical difference. So, what is the thermal potential difference? It is a heat energy. So, it converts the heat energy in the form of a electrical potential difference. So, the basic principle of this thermocouple is, it is called as a thermoelectric effect or otherwise it is called as a Seebeck effect. What it means, the Seebeck effect, what it defines means, when two dissimilar metals, here see there are two dissimilar metals, when two dissimilar metals are joined together and kept it in a two different temperatures, one is a cold junction and another one is a hot junction, the hot junction we will have a temperature variation. So, two dissimilar metals are joined together and kept it in a two different temperatures. So, in between these we will have, we will have, we will feel the electromotive force will be induced. So, that electromotive force is proportional to the rise in temperature. This is the actual principle of our Seebeck effect. <coughs> so, here it shows there are two junctions, there are two junctions, measuring junction, it is, uh, otherwise it is called as a hot junction. So, this is a reference junction or it is called as a cold junction. So, these are the two dissimilar metals. We are joining together two dissimilar metals and we are make it as a two junction. One is we are just keeping as a reference that is a cold junction, another one is a hot junction. So, here only the heat source is given. So, these junction senses that heat source and it produces the some electromotive force that the induced EMF is measured by means of connecting a voltmeter here. So, we will get the corresponding temperature changes, we will get the output voltage. Normally, it will be in the range of millivolts. The types of thermocouple, there are so many types are available, they will say nearly 13 types of uh, thermocouples are available. So, in that uh, way, how it types is classified means by means of the two dissimilar metals used. So, if I use that platinum rhodium, that is the type is called as type B. If I use that chromal constant 10, it is called as type E. 
so the likewise it is various types so it has given us the various types so for the particular range of temperature so if it is a 0 to 1700 degree celsius to be measured we have to select the type b temperature type b kind of thermocouple in that type b thermocouple we will have the positive both the legs we will have positive and negative that is the two dissimilar metals so if i have one leg or one metal is platinum 30 percent platinum and rhodium so another leg is another lead of wire is platinum 6 percentage and rhodium then it is called as a type b kind of thermocouple for example here it is a type t means if i want to measure a very low temperature starts from some negative values so i can select the type t so it is nothing but one end one end of the wire is called as a copper and another one is called as a constant n so likewise we have to select that um, thermocouple for ba uh, in the basis of temperature range what is our requirement to measure the temperature based on that i can select the thermocouple so based on the positive leg and negative leg used it is classified as type b e j k n r s t so this is the color code normally it is used that is in this international standard color codes it is used so these are the characteristics of thermocouple so if we plot a graph between the temperature and the produced output voltage so these are the characteristics i am getting s type s or it is mentioned as uh, alphabets it is nothing but the type of thermocouple s r c t j k e so in that thermocouple among all the types i can i can say i can conclude that if i want to get the linear relationship linear characteristics i i can select this k type so in the previous slide so type k is used for minus 100 to 1300 degrees celsius so the normal application we will select we will go with that type k because of its linear characteristics and the wide range of temperature <coughs> so these are the merits of thermocouple so why i can select thermocouple it is a wide variety of designs so i can start from minus 300 to i can extend up to some 300 degree 3000 degree celsius i can use this thermocouple and it is a speed of response is very high and it is more suitable for the measurement over a large temperature range so some limitations it is having some limitations so that limitations are it is a temperature voltage relationship is not fully linear some type of thermocouple is a linear produces the linear characteristics and most of the th type of thermocouple would not give a linear relationship and it is not suitable for the moving objects i already told you uh, it is uh, only for the contact type of temperature measurements if it is it uh, this is also a limitation it is a contact type wherever we want to make it as a non contact type that means a very high temperature like molten metal steel manufacturing in that case i cannot select the thermocouple so it is well it is not suited for that so in that case i have to go with only the non contact type of thermocouple so the accuracy part it is uh, it is a fair accuracy not so bad we can have some better accuracy so by making some design calculation we will improve the accuracy so that that is a one of the uh, limitations of uh, thermocouple so in based on that what are all the characteristics should be uh, considered before selecting the thermocouple means so thermocouple must be selected to meet the application and conditions so the applications mean if i want to use it for a particular uh, process the process may be the range from so i have to know the minimum range and maximum range of thermo temperature measurement then only i can select which type of thermocouple i can select it so i have to know the applications and process conditions is necessary then only i can select the thermocouple the second one is selection consideration so what are all the basis i, I can select means so according to the temperature range i just told you select type j k m t or another based on your temperature uh, um, necessary temperature so according to the response time so the all the thermocouple won't give the same uh, won't have the same response time so based on the response time if i want to get the response more quick i then i can go with some uh, thermocouple if i want i can compensate the response time but i want to have the particular uh, temperature range so that i can go with the particular thermocouple so based on the according to the response time you can select the thermocouple if the larger diameter if you have the larger diameter of these materials these uh, wire so it will be the larger diameter reduces the response time so according to the service life larger diameter will increase it will have more service time so based on your requirement and based on the necessity of the process so you can select the thermocouple accordingly these are the some selection criteria i have listed 
So the fam another uh, one of the most commonly used the, uh, temperature measuring uh, sensor is RTD. So we have discussed in the last class. So I am just having the comparison between that uh, thermocouple and RTD. So it is a thermocouple is a self uh, self powered. It's simple, rugged, and inexpensive. Wide variety is available. Wide temperature is available. So that that is these are the main advantages or merits of our thermocouple when compared to our RTD. Any question and answers? Thank you.